Alrighty folks, g'day. Welcome to my very first ever unboxing. So, I have now acquired a new astronomy camera. A camera from Player One Astronomy called the Artemis C Pro. It's a color camera. Uh, what do we got here? It's an IMX294 Sony sensor, so it's got a really, really cool low light. Uh, I've been actually looking forward to this camera. I can thank my mum for this uh, as a birthday present. Uh, I'll give you a quick look at the player one. So this is the camera. I got the uh, the colour one at the moment. And it's on an early bird price because this is a brand new release camera. So I was pretty lucky to get it when I did. Uh, there are uh, four third uh, inch format. Uh, what else can I show you about it? Uh, can actually cool the sensor down to below. 40 degrees ambient uh, DDR3 half a gig of it which is pretty cool usually cameras only come out with 256 uh, megs of uh, DDR3 memory um, this has got dual USB-C ports so I don't have to worry about a stupid USB-B or USB-A it's got the ports which are needed um, really really looking forward to using this camera uh, here's some more specs for people that are a little bit more tech savvy and everything else. So what we have here is a 14-bit color depth, which is really cool, especially for astronomy. Uh, readout noise, I am looking forward to using this camera. 1.25 readout noise a year, baby. Bring it. Um, full well, so it can capture pretty deep color wells and everything um, as I said half a gig of DDR3 RAM anti-jew heater on the front uh, sensor len uh, lens cover pretty much the protector which is really cool a lot of cameras don't come out with that so this camera with the capability of cooling itself uh, the drawback would be having frost and everything else build up on the, the front lens of the camera this has been built into this camera so now I can not worry about frost building up and you building up on the, the front um, this has also got an inbuilt tilt so when I unbox it I can show you a bit more in depth on it but yeah we'll get into it actually so the box that it comes with is actually not bad it's really nice print on it nothing's fuzzy or out of frame uh, they're a new company. They've only just released their full, uh, their first cool camera last year, November 20, uh, 22nd, I believe it was. And this is their second edition of cool cameras now. So they've had a, a crack at it, and now I think they've perfected it. Now, what this camera has in built in it that most, actually no other camera has built into it, is uh, a tilt adjustment. So when you're trying to get your camera to sit flat against your image train, your, your telescope, sometimes it might not be perfectly flat. So what this camera has is slight adjustment so you can move the corners of it to get it so it's perfectly flat and you get nice, crisp, clear stars, beautiful colour, perfect light coming. So what do we get in the box here? Well, they've given me a nice, huge braided... USB-C to USB-A cable. Really nice quality. Actually, yeah, very nice quality. And it's got the cable ties on it and everything else. So that's a handy cable. Uh, we also get a USB-C to USB-C right angle. Ooh. I wonder, hang on a sec. We're going to check the length on this beastie. Because if it's long enough to reach from my guide camera down to the, this and do a pass-through, I can eliminate a USB hub on my setup. Nah, unfortunately, that ain't going to work. But I'm guessing that's for things like the filter wheel, um, focuser, all sorts of different things you can connect. So that's a very handy little thing to have as well. 
and being USB C to USB right angle, I mean, <laughs> can't scoff at that. Uh, another cable we got is a USB C to USB B. Now, I've never ever seen one of these. Makes sense considering the uh, transfer speeds you can get out of USB B. So, as you can see, you got your USB, USB C. And then on the other end, you've got that square, like the printer, sort of connector, USB-B. So, that's pretty cool. That means high data transfer as well. And in the box here, we've got a nice big black case. Pretty solid. Feels good. And one last thing is an Allen key for all the adjustments I'm guessing you're going to be doing with this thing. Alright, so let's have a look inside this nice case. Camera's going out of focus here. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Stop playing around with my camera. There she goes. Alrighty, now I got that sorted. Yeah, it's a really nice box there, Ange. Very nice print job on it. It's no scuffing. Um, people are interest, interested. Let's see if we can get this to focus, please. Gotta love autofocus. When it works, it works. When it doesn't, it doesn't. So there's the uh, Facebook, website, and email. So you can take a screen capture of that. Uh, Player One Astronomy. Been pretty helpful, actually, through the whole buying process and shipping and everything else. Uh, great in communication. Yeah, absolutely awesome. So in the case, let's see what we get here. Get a nice duster. Hmm. It's actually really good quality. Nice metal tip on it and everything else. Alright. <laughs> um, hey, cable strap. Gotta love that. Can never do with too many cable ties. Uh, here's the nose pieces. So these are your spacers. So what do we got here? We've got... Uh, M48 17 and a half millimeter spacer and a M48 20 millimeter spacer and then an, as a bonus these are two inch spacers as a bonus you get your 1.25 inch on the inside here and the 1.25 inches also got another spacer ring which I believe brings it from 40, uh, M48 down to M42 so that's very handy so that's some pretty cool accessories already pretty happy with this so far Um, for the price at the moment, the um, the prices are current until 30th of April. So if you're in interested in one of these new cameras from Play One Astronomy, I suggest jumping onto it now before the month is out, because I'm guessing these are going to go up nearly double in price to what the early bird price is right now. So I recommend getting in on it as best you can. Uh, let me get this in here, put it away. pretty cool how it all packs away into a nice neat little package all right now the camera here we go move the case out of the way so here we have it folks this is the Artemis C Just 
doesn't want to play ball. I've seen other streamers have these problems with autofocus. Here we go. So the Artemis C Pro, she's a 4.3 inch, got it on that side, 11.7 megapixel. It's got a cooling fan, it's got two USB ports. Uh, it's also got your power port. Now the cool thing with this camera is you don't have to run it in cooling mode, so you can run it without the 12, 12 volt 3 amp power supply. And it will just act like a normal uh, deep sky camera without the cooling. Uh, as soon as you connect that, obviously, it allows you to activate the Peltier plate and like uh, do heater, fan. Uh, what do we got here? We got a main USB C. Uh, also, we've got a device USB C. So, the device one is for their filter wheels, uh, any other accessories. I'm guessing a pass through. I'm trying to get confirmation about that at the moment through player one. Uh, it's got a pretty beefy heat sink in there. She's got a hefty weight to it. Um, built in on the camera, you got these screws here two sets of screws, one's a locking screw and one's the actual adjustment screw and there's actually a, a piece of foam, compressed foam around in here. Uh, what that allows is the tilt sensor, to, uh, the tilt mechanism to work but not have any light bleed through which is pretty damn awesome. Um, the first uh, cool cameras that Player One released was the Poseidon. Uh, I noticed on the reviews of the Poseidon that the actual lens cap here didn't have an o-ring. Guess what they added to the lens cap on this one? We now have an O-ring. Makes makes life easier, especially with these fine threads on cam any camera equipment. People will know it's easy for them to jam up and bind. So all in all, actually, this is a great little package. Uh, only weighs around about 675 odd grams, I believe. Now let me just go to a quick spec sheet. Uh, 655 grams, uh, diagonal 23.2 millimeter. Um, this is a max. It's a good size resolution of 4,144 by 2,824. So you're getting good size pictures. Uh, with my 200 mil, uh, from what I can see from uh, using the telescope calculator on Bintel website, I can actually fit Orion Nebula within, within this uh, camera sensor on a 200 mil reflector. So that, that's pretty good, that's impressive. That's a good size sensor. Um, pixel size is 4.63, so I'm not gonna get any oversampling on a 200 mil or any undersampling. It's actually spot on, this is perfect. Uh, she does a frame rate of 33 frames per second, which is pretty good. Uh, exposure range of 32 up to 2,000 seconds. So yeah, it, it, it's very versatile camera you could use this for solar with how fast the shadow works on this um 14 bit adc she uses a 12 volt 3 amp uh, power supply which is pretty easily available it doesn't come with it you have to supply your own but that's not such a bad thing uh working temperatures it yeah it doesn't really matter because you can drop its temperature down uh, below ambient 40 degrees, which is pretty handy. But all in all, I am really looking forward to using this camera. Thank you once again, Player One and Mum. God bless Mum. Everybody's Mum needs a set of flowers this weekend. So, thank you all for checking out my first unboxing. We'll see how this goes when we finally get clear skies. So until then, be safe and I'll chat to you all later.